Howdy y'all, and welcome back to another project video. I am aware this is the third one in like a week, but after being sick I have a really weird schedule this week and this is literally the only way I could have five videos, at least five videos. Um, and there probably won't be one tomorrow. There's nothing I can really do about that. Right now, I'm probably off seeing the Han Solo movie, so I'm looking forward to that. But right now, it's Monday, and we're going to start a project. This is a... You probably can't see that. This is a 1930s Seth Thomas. I'm not crazy. There was a piece of hair floating there, I swear. I think face detection wants to see this as a face, which is kind of appropriate, I guess. It is technically a face. This is a 1930s Seth Thomas marble electric clock. Um, it is missing the cord. It's also missing the knob to set it. So I don't know what kind of shape it's going to be in. Obviously it's, well you'll see it up close, it's pretty dirty. Um, it's going to take a lot of work. I don't know if I can actually get it finished by Friday, but we're going to find out. So let's get in closer. So this thing is filthy. Half the battle is just going to be cleaning it. But for right now, we're going to take it apart and look at the inside to see what all we're going to have to do. I will say, if you notice, the uh, second hand is broken, as is the glass. That's actually not too bad to replace. I actually know where I can buy them locally, at least most of the time. If not, I'd have to order it and hope that it gets here by Friday. So, let's start. So, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to use this motor. It's a shame, too, because it is a fascinating looking motor. Look at that. That is so cool. Um, unfortunately, where the cord goes in, it's completely gone. I was hoping it was just cut on the inside and pushed inside. On top of that, it's... I don't know if this is coming across, but there are strands of it broken off. And there's this black line, and that looks to be burnt. So this is dead. On top of that, on top of everything else, the piece that goes up top here is literally just falling apart. Um, I'd say this got wet at some point. I would also say that the cord was completely yanked out. There's not really much I can do. On top of that, this could technically be fixable. Unfortunately... The knob to set the time isn't just missing the outer piece. It's completely gone. Gear and all. I mean, there, there is nothing I can do for this. I cannot fix this. So, I mean, I could try and find the gear, but honestly, I would end up buying another clock just to break it apart for it. That's not worth the money, and it's pointless to ruin a whole nother clock. So... What I'm going to have to do is find a replacement motor. Now that is unfortunate since this has this little thing right here. And what this is, you can see it turned red there because I moved the switch in the back. And there it's silver. This is a power indicator. It tells you if the electricity goes out. So basically this turns red if this loses electricity. It's a shame I'm not going to be able to use that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to, if I'm just going to glue this silver piece up in its place or what I'm going to do exactly, but I'm going to have to take the motor itself off and I'm going to have to find a new motor to use. On top of that, I'm going to have to take a tape measure, measure out how big the glass piece is and order it and hope it gets here by Friday. In the meantime, let's start taking this apart, getting a measurement for that and clean some of this up a bit. I, I will say I also know taking this off and it's really dirty. It's kind of hard to tell, but well, that's a piece of the sticker. This is uh, got a few places where it's nicked pretty good around the outside here, including one big one here. I don't, it almost looks like there might have been a little foot or something there. Um, then there's a few others that are really nicked, and it's pretty scratched up. This side, however, with the exception of dirt, looks really good. 
And I don't see a reason that I can't just flip it over. So we should be perfectly good here. So let's start taking this apart. Good news, it came pretty darn clean with not too much effort. I mean, I can still clean it a bit more, and I'm going to have to soak this down here. I don't know if it shows up, but there's still some sticker residue. A little bit right there I could get, but it came pretty clean. It shined up. It looks pretty good. I have the measurement for the glass, so I can order that right now, hopefully. It will be here if I can't find it locally. Hopefully I can get it on eBay and have it by Friday or by Thursday. I guess I have to have this done by Thursday so I can put it out of Friday. Overall though, it looks pretty good. I will have to find a replacement motor. And this is the uh, piece that moves that turns from red to silver. I'll probably just cut this out and maybe glue it on the back. I don't know. It, maybe if the motor fits far enough away I could even put a little light there. I don't know that would shine that well, but it's something to think about. These are the hands, which hopefully we'll be able to reuse. So, next thing is to find a motor. Here is our replacement motor. I got it from the Goodwill for, I think it was $10, but it was half off, so I only paid like 5 bucks for it. This is from a 19, I would guess, 60s clock. Maybe even late 50s, but I would guess early 60s. Um, it was actually another rock type clock. It was actually a bunch of pebbles that were resin together. Unfortunately, the top was broken off. Um, and it would be sort of like if there was a big chunk of the marble missing. It, you, it's not really repairable at that point. So this clock will get to live on inside here. Now it is primarily plastic. And it's definitely not going to fit as it is. But because it's plastic, I figure I can just break pieces off. So, let's start. So, unfortunately, because of the way these are placed, there's no real way for this to fit in here, even with all of that stuff broken off. Um, if I, I can fit it in between the pillars, but no matter how I do it, that doesn't sit in the center. So, I'm going to have to take one of these off, unfortunately. I'm thinking the top one, because if I do... I take it back, it's going to have to be this one. This is the side one. So we're basically just going to have a top and a bottom. And we'll just glue in the extra screw on the other side. I was hoping to keep this near the set time hole. We're not going to be able to do that. That's okay. There we go. That will sit perfectly evenly. Let me get closer here. Doesn't mean we're going to be down a uh, holder in the back, but I don't think that should affect it. So I'm going to let this dry overnight. I just glued it in place. I broke off the two side pieces, which did actually break off literally the entire sides. I can't pick this up and move it closer. 
Here, let me, uh... There we go. It actually broke off the insides. I'll have to put some uh, metal tape along here. Probably metal tape is what I'll use to prevent any dirt from getting in here. But I'll put a couple drops of oil in here while I'm doing it. I will have to drill... Yeah, that's fine, I guess. I will have to drill a new hole in the back of here. I was really hoping to kind of get near the uh, set time hole. Unfortunately, it's going to be more down in this area, but it's not too big of an issue. I think these two screws will hold it just fine. Not worried about that. So, I still have to get the glass, drill the hole, and then get a cord. I have everything now. Here is the new glass. And I bought the cord stuff locally. This is just an extension cord that's decorative, which means it's cloth wire. It's uh, sort of white and gold colored, so it should match this really well. It should match the marble, I think. I think that looks very nice together. I did finish polishing up the marble a bit. I got this cord end, which I think is art deco enough. It should be quite fine. And I drilled a hole in here. It's a fairly large hole. Um, and the reason is, is because this thing is very difficult to get on and off and I was kind of worried about pressing this in too hard through the hole so I basically made sure that this hole was big enough for this to fit through. Now the video if you see a segment in the fast forward section it looks like I'm not doing anything for a little bit that's going to be this drawing. This is the minute hand. The hour hand fits this perfectly. The new motor. These are the original hands here. I'm going to be reusing them. Um, the hour hand fits fine. Unfortunately the minute hand was a bit too big. I've... Well, I'm not sure if it's actually going to show up, but I uh, I made this hole a little bit smaller, but I'm still going to have to put just a little bit of super glue, so that's going to have to dry. And we have the second hand, which was actually from the, the replacement motor. So I'm going to use that since the original second hand is broken off anyways. But it's good because it looks like they were both brass, so this should match it pretty well.
there we are. Everything is done. Ain't she pretty? Now, I was able to use, like I said, the hour and the minute hand. The second hand, since the original second hand was broken, is actually the one from the donor motor. Um, I didn't polish any of this. Normally I would, but I quite like the tone, and it's very even all the way around. I think it looks really good with the marble. Out here in the back, you may have noticed I didn't glue the wire around here. I think I've mentioned before that you should really glue cloth wire, but this, I'm assuming it's probably Bakelite or maybe it's even dried rubber. This grommet here holds this in so tightly that it's going to hold the cloth on without an issue. I did glue, I can't pull this any closer, but I did glue the cloth around here. Uh, uh, there we go. Around here. I like this plug-in. I think it looks good with it. It is plastic. It's not bake light, which is too bad. It also is kind of yellow on the inside. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, which is a little irritating, but as long as it's plugged in, and it looks original enough. I mean, it is based on plugs from this decade, so it works out well. Like I said, the marble polished out beautifully. Looks great. This is the... Uh, setting now it is ready to go ah we're going backwards in time there we go put back in frame a bit better there we go and we are done with this project that's it for this time happy trails